Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, thanks for joining us as we are talking about, in Leviticus chapter 10, Strange Fire. This is Strange Fire part 3. The first part we talked about was Strange Fire, not having that strange fire, and God wasn't pleased with Nadab and Abihu, so not pleased that he uh, instantly killed them. When they were doing things deliberately against what he instructed, okay? Um, and he, he put them to death uh, for that. Um, and then we talked about yesterday how when you, um, which they obviously had alcohol involved uh, with what they were doing, when you Im are impaired with that, uh, God's not pleased with that, all right? And he makes it as a lasting ordinance uh, for the priest that when you're serving as a priest, uh -uh, none of that stuff that um, inhibits um, your senses with that, okay? Your mind needs to be clear and focused, and that's what, what God wants. Today we're going to be talking about a Strange Fire Part 3, and I'm going to read through this, and you're going to see we're getting to part to an end where you're thinking, oh no, these guys messed up, they're going to die too. But it doesn't happen, and you're going to see why. Verse, uh, We're going to read from uh, verse 12 through verse 20 of, of Leviticus 10. So follow along with me as I read. Moses said to Aaron and his remaining sons, Eleazar and Ithmar, Take the grain offering left over from the food offering, prepared without yeast, and present it to the Lord, and eat it beside the altar, for it is most holy. Eat it in the sanctuary area, because it is your share and your son's share of the food offerings presented to the Lord. For so I have been commanded. But you and your sons and your daughters may eat the breast and, and, and what was waved in the thigh, that was presented. Eat them in the ceremonial place, in the ceremonial clean place. They have been given to you and your children as a share of the Israelites' fellowship offerings. The thigh that was presented and the breast that was waved must be brought with the fat portions of the food offerings to be waved before the Lord as a wave offering. This will be a perpetual share for you and your children as the Lord has commanded. When Moses inquired about the goat, uh, of the sin offering and found that it had been burned up, he was angry with Eleazar and Ithmar, Aaron's remaining sons, and asked, Why didn't you eat the sin offering in the sanctuary area? It is most holy, and it was given to you to take away the guilt of the community by making atonement for them before the Lord. Since its blood was not taken into the holy place, you should have eaten the goat in the sanctuary area as I commanded. Aaron replied to Moses, Today they sacrificed their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, but such things as this have happened to me. Would the Lord have been pleased if I had eaten the sin offering today? When Moses heard this, he was satisfied. Okay? Basically, they were to they were to burn some of the sacrifice, but then they were to eat a part of the sacrifice. And then also, after what you didn't eat, you were to burn up. But they didn't eat. Uh, and, and you can understand, you just had some relatives died. And with all this stuff happening, sometimes, like, if let's say you're involved in a wedding. Let's say you're the one getting married. Um, you're not too hungry at that time. I know when I got married, when the wedding happened and stuff, and you had the reception... I wasn't scarfing down food. I wasn't really hungry because I was like nervous about like who all was there and everything else. The well, same way here. These guys like aren't hungry and especially because this incident just happened uh, before. So they didn't eat. They just uh, kind of let it pass and let it be burned up. But when Moses found out, he was like unhappy like, oh no, you didn't eat. We're in trouble. But then Aaron explained what happened and um, and Moses was, was satisfied with that. And the difference between this and what happened earlier, what happened earlier was willful disobedience uh, to God. Um, this that happened here, it wasn't willful. They were just, they made a mistake, okay? Uh, they should have eaten and they, they couldn't eat and, uh, and so forth. So, so God had grace and um, forgave that, uh, you might say. So... Um, it, it goes on, and so there was a. I want you to see there was a difference when we have willful disobedience um, like that. God's not happy with that, and, and we talked about yesterday how alcohol was involved. Not happy with that either. But when you had all this take place, 
and these guys couldn't do quite everything that was required of them, including eating all of this food. And then Moses understood, and, and he was like, okay, all right. Um, it, and it, it was understood uh, here. So the big thing you can see in this whole chapter, God is a God of, um, of, of justice, okay? But then he's also um, a, a God of grace here at the end, um, also here. Um, so the strange fire, as we conclude strange fire, um, the part one, two, and three, you saw offering strange fire, God's not going to put up with that, okay? But you make a, a mistake, you know, uh, and you didn't really mean to, but it, it happened like that. You couldn't eat all that food. Um, God's a God of grace also, okay? And Moses, when it was explained to him, he was like, okay, I understand. And, and it says, when Moses heard this, he was satisfied. And that was it. No, no more discussion. It, it does, the Leviticus doesn't go on and, and bring this up again. That was it. It was all done. So remember that today. And uh, don't be offering strange fire. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to get away from all the the sacrifices and all that stuff. The whole first part of the book is now we're getting into some of the food stuff. Okay. And uh, you're going to see food. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.